Hello family, I've got something to share on this video. First of all, I want to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. I love what they do. Here's why I love what they do. Well, I'm an author and my book just came out so you can find it on Audible. So if you really want to go read, yes, or if you don't have time to, you can listen to my book on Audible. But also, you know me as a foster parent. As a foster parent, I get to have kids from all kinds of places. And I can show you 99.9 .9 of our kids always come with trauma. Every child who's separated or taken away from their family will always experience trauma in ways that I cannot explain. Sometimes, you know, you'll have three kids from the same family but have different traumas, but yet they were affected by the same abuse or same uh, neglect, you know? So it depends on a child and that's why I get to learn. And that's why I love Audible because it gives me the opportunity to find books, resources. As a foster parent, I have to be trauma informed. And that's important because I get to learn how best I can be to my kids, you know, on how I can detect trauma, but also on how I can help kids who are dealing with it. The other part is also I get to learn about myself. As you know, I come from an abusive family. I was a strict kid for years. So yes, I have trauma and I honestly say that. And sometimes when you learn about your own trauma, it really helps you on how best you can be a parent. They say, deal, learn about yourself and that will help you to learn how you parent. Or when your traumas show up, how to really diffuse them or take them away or not get involved in some way. And that's what I love about Audible is that I get to read books. I get to do things that I ne would never be able to do. Here's why. I'm a single dad. And so most of my time, I get to drive my kids. Sometimes I feel I should be called a bus driver. Really? Well, kind of. Because I spend most of my time dropping my kids to school, soccer, swimming, ballet, who knows what. And then me going to buy things, going to grocery shopping, errands, going to the, you know, medicine, get picked from who knows where. That's my world. So I spend most of my time in the car. And since I'm required as a false parent to always be updated on trauma, but also on my license, some states you have to be licensed every year, some too, but also it's good to be informed about, you know, uh, things that we get to learn about kids. And for me, I found Audible the best way to do that. That I get to sit in my car and listen to books that I will never have an opportunity to read because I have no time, you know? But two, when I'm at home, I'm cooking or cleaning, I can still listen to books that I love, that I can learn about my kids, but learn about myself as well. You guys also know I am into real estate. I own homes and I like to do Airbnb. How do I learn? Well, by listening. And that's what I find on Audible resource that helps me to do the best I can be. Be a parent, do business, but also find my occupied time. Rather than sit in the car and do nothing, I get to have an opportunity to read, to learn about my life as a dad, as a business person. So it's fun. So I hope you get to use Audible. Audible books. For you who drive, you know what I'm talking about, parents. Let Audible help you discover new ways to laugh, be inspired, or be entertained. New members can try it for free for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash now I'm known or text now I'm known to 500-500 to try Audible free for 30 days. So I am going to journey with you and show you how truly I spend my day driving to show you where I drive, what I do, how I do it and all that jazz. So, uh, well, journey with me so you can see my day-to-day -day life of driving. Yeah, driving. single human in my life to testify potential has no limit and distant other children they will leave you all inspired when times are the hardest and seem like the darkest you can't be alive i know your intuition cause the reason you're existing can be to change your life come along with us on an adventure helping kids to find a place to call home we must make sure that they always remember they're not forgotten and they're not alone So it's my first ride to drop my kids at school. It's early in the morning, so I am taking them at school, which is fun. So again, this is how I begin my first ride, my first morning ride. So we're gonna chill, we're gonna talk, and then I'm gonna drop my kids to school and then one to daycare. And then after that, I get to listen to everything I want. Listen to music, listen to books. Isn't that fun? So let's the day begin to show you how much I drive in a day. Where are we going? To school. To school. 
school. Yeah, we're going to school. Oh, look, someone is running in the rain. So we drive and drive always, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So we are waiting for the bus. Yeah. Are you excited to go to school? Yeah, yeah but it's going to be raining. I know. Raining. It's but raining. Look up here. It's raining. That means we won't have to go out Saturday. Today yes. you won't go outside? Yeah, we have to do indoor Only whenever it stops raining. raining. Oh no. We have to go to the blacktop then. Well, maybe you go outside tomorrow. Is that the recess time? Yeah. Oh. After, after um, something, right. we have to go to the recess. Down? No, you can't go because it's raining and I don't want you to out stand outside. We can. <laughs> I know you can, but I'm not letting you go yeah. in the rain. Because it's going to be soaking wet. Then our teachers are going to say, why are y'all so wet? Well, they know, Aaron. I know it's raining. Do you know today they sent me a message saying, today, whoever comes late, it's going to be okay because we know it's raining. Okay, here's the bus. Guess you can go. All right. Shall you walk? It's not open. All right. Bye, Papa. Bye. Love you. Oh, here they go. Well, this helps. At least they get on the bus. So I don't have to go to school in the morning and wait and wait and wait. Here they go. So here's what my day looks like. It's morning. So my first bunch left. Anthony is already at school. Ooh. And then now it's someone. Are you ready to go to school? Are you ready to go to school? Yes. Well, take care right now. So I just dropped the other two. Now we're going. You know, your brother and sister just left. You ready to go? Yes. No. No. Yes. Not talking. I like your shoes. You like them? You ready to go? Huh? You ready to go? Yes. Okay. Now you're buckled up. All right. You ready to go? Everything is okay. Oh uh oh. Your nose are not that great. So I'm gonna clean your nose. Will you let me clean your nose? Yes. These are handy. We have them everywhere in the car. Okay, you ready to go to school? You ready to go to daycare? Huh? Are you ready to go to daycare? I like your shoes. Hmm? You ready to go to daycare? dropped my little one at school a daycare let's say so now i am off to run errands as you see it's like you know sometimes i feel like i have only two minutes you know i drop them at school and then i start running errands and within a short time it's like i need to go pick them up so i'm always hurrying making sure that i do what i need to do you know i think i get about like six hours by myself so in six hours i always want to make sure that i can do everything possible everything possible from shopping to mail to all you can name it so right now i've got some books that i need to mail so i have to prep them and then send them or drop them at post office so that's what i'm trying to do before my first child arrives because you never know they could come sick they want to play they want to do something so i want to make sure that i'm always available so off to the next run so i had come back this morning because it's raining and i have a lot of books to sign and then package to send to post office so first of all i'm grateful for those who bought so i have about 200 books today that i have to ship urgently and i am really grateful that i get to really do something uh before i go anywhere uh and the cool thing is a little bit easier for me to do because the kids are not here think about when you have a 15 month baby crying wanting to play or my six and seven asking you know who knows what it's hard to do all this but also there are books you can easily get food on it you can easily get peanut butter jam honey i mean name anything can get on so for me to be able to do this without them is a joy a joy for sure but i also get to do a little bit more uh, as I'm the only, you know, I'm the parent, I am the shipper, I am the author, I am name it all, but it's truly a joy. So this is what I get to do, and then I'm gonna package them to the post office. It's fun, but my hand gets tired, signing lots of books. So this book will enable me to truly help more kids, foster more kids, adapt to more kids, and also advocate for kids. And the reason why I wrote the book was so people can see how I beat the odds. And especially for my kids, that I wanted them to know that, hey, we have a dad that loves us, but he also overcame so much trauma. So if he did it, maybe I can do it as well. And also to my readers as well, to know that we all have a potential, we all have something uh, 
that has happened to us is in childhood, in marriage, at work, but we can use it to do good for ourselves. But also we can use it as a foundation to be better human beings. And that's why I wrote this book, to not really let my future be interrupted by my own past, you know? So in some, in some way, really embracing my past will help me be the best way equipped to see how I can go in the future, you know? And I didn't want my future to somehow get derailed by my past. You know, of course we cannot erase the past. Of course it's not easy. I mean, I still go through the trauma sometimes, but I think I'm aware of it and I get to say sometimes where it's telling me, Peter, you cannot do it. I'm like, no, I can do it because I've seen time and time again, do it. So that's why I wrote this book. Hopefully it can help you and inspire you and also encourage you uh, to let your past be the foundation for you to do better for yourself and for others as well. So as you guys know that I have an Airbnb, so it's trash day, so it's about 30 minutes away that I had to drive to get to my Airbnb. So that's drive number two, and then I'm gonna go do some cleaning uh, and then get back to doing other errands. I mean, the driving is insane. It's not bad, I love it. But I get to spend time thinking, reading. Reading is key. As guys, I tell, I told you, you know, listening to things that I really would not be able to do, uh, you know, if I was at home. You know, as I said, guys, you know, we have to be updated on, uh, you know, force care and trauma. So this gives me an opportunity to learn, you know, businesses as well. Like I don't get to really time to go for classes or courses as a busy dad. But having this really helps me to do all that I need to do. So I found ways on how to use my time wisely, even when I'm driving. So this is how much I drive and I thought I can share with you so you get to see my world driving. I love it. So you guys, you know, I have an errand B. So uh, it's about 30, 30 minutes drive from our home right now. So we have to put the trash out ourselves. We have to check it out, you know, when our guests move out. So, you know, cleaners do, but we always have to come and check out. So you can imagine how much I get to drive here. So that's what I'm here doing. You know, it's part of my job every Tuesday or every other day when we have a guest, I have to be here, you know? So it's fun, you know? Before I got kids, I would drive, maybe I'll put a miles like 10,000 a year on my car. Now in just four months, I can rank that 10,000 in just four months. So you can see how much I drive, but also how much I get to learn. Guys, I have read more books than I had ever read before, before I had kids, because I found a way to use my driving as a way to educate myself literally about anything. So here's my trash day. So I'm gonna take it out there so the next guest can have an empty trash. It's raining and it's ugly, <laughs> but, I try to do it all. You know, it's amazing what one human being can do. If I can do it, you can do it as well. You know, I am that guy who, I never say no to anything, you know? Challenge is what I love. You say I cannot do, I'll prove to you I can do it. And I don't know if it's a good thing, but if you're ever there and say, man, I'm single, I can't do one, two, three, four. You can do it. When you put your heart into it, you can do it. I get to do that, you know? So I hope you enjoyed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oof, it has water in it. So guys, as you know, I'm in the real estate business and I do Airbnb. So this is a, a simple humble home. So if you ever want a place to stay, please don't hesitate to ask. If you ever want to stay, you can house 20 people. So if you ever need a place to stay, please let us know. Good neighborhood as well. So we would be happy to let you stay in our home uh, again. Um, it's truly been a joy. It helps me be a dad. It helps me help more kids. It helps me, you know, uh, do the things that I never thought I could do. But also it's been a, it's been a gift, you know? Uh, you learn a skill. When I came to my house, I was like, you know, I can learn, learn a few things. So it was my first time to buy a house and then I sold it and then I kept buying one, living in one, selling it, you know, and, and I made a living out of it. So that's a joy. So I get to drive. Yes. So, well, but it's been a joy truly to share my day today. So you can see how much I drive, where I go. It's fun. It's really fun. Uh, but at the same time, I'm kind of learning to, you know, how much I spend time in the car. What do I learn? You know, how do I spend that time wisely? Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. Really, that's my world life, right? Amazing to see how much, how many times one gets to drive. And I know all moms out there, I know you drive a lot. Dads who go to work and drive and drive. But when you're in your car by yourself, what do you do? That's what I wanted to share. I love listening to books. And the exciting thing is my book is also on Audible. So it's been a joy to learn so many things. Cook shows, I mean, cooking books, uh, dating books too. I mean, all books you can think about. You know, but my favorite is lifestyle. And 
how to really help kids, you know, who come from hard places or with trauma. It's truly been a joy. So I hope you find something to do as well while you drive by yourself. So, so you have, when you have kids, your car is like trash. I mean, they throw anything, everything in your car. So sometimes I get to stop here so I can wash my, my car and empty all the trash. See, all this trash. So as they're cleaning my car, I'm sitting having a coffee so I can answer most emails and texts that need to be answered before I go run my errands. Milk is important, so I'm about to go buy some milk. So that is my day-to-day kind of run. So hang in with me. Yes, as I say, I drive all the time, all the time, but it's fun. Sometimes I feel like I'm a bus driver. Pick me up, drop me here, do this. It's all fun. But as a parent, we get to spend time with our kids in the four wheel. So I'm having coffee so I can answer my, uh, some of my emails while my car is being washed. My kids treat it like it's a garbage can. I mean, literally, there's everything from anywhere. French fries that have been there for a while, and who knows what else. Toys, name it all, it's all in there. So here's my go-to. A little coffee, and then a little oatmeal with fruits and nuts while I'm waiting. So, you know, when you have kids all the time, it's hard to get a little snack. So this is my snack that I get to have and enjoy. So pretty cool, right? So guess where I'm now? Now I'm at the grocery store to get some milk because my kids drink milk like there's no tomorrow. Oh, they drink it like water. But we know they're growing kids, so they need milk. Vitamin, collation, potassium. Yeah, all those vitamins that I can't say. So now I'm at the grocery store trying to get some of that. And it's always good to come shopping before my kids get here. It's easier to run in and out. It's easier, easier to do all that. So that's why, but otherwise it's all good. So now I have to go to the bank and uh, I do what I needed to do. Let's see, let's see, where am I going? Chess Bank, where are you having me go? Okay, I can't get in, so I'm gonna go park. But there you go, that's my routine of my life. In, out, drive, yes, here I come, Chess Bank. Okay, so yes, yeah, so sometimes I get to have things that I need to bring uh, to the bank that I can't not do on an app. So I get to drive here, but it's also close to somewhere I like to go for just 30 minutes. So that's why I'm here. So you'd be amazed what we get to do. So for me to stay fit and to do something, so when my kids go to school or go somewhere, I try to come in, even if it's just for 30 minutes or even 20 minutes. It's always good to help me stay in shape. So, man, everyone is here today. It's full. But usually, yes, I come here to spend a little time uh, so I can, uh, you know, stay fit. So you parents out there, yes, always do something for you. You know, something to fill your cup. They say fill your glass so you're able to give to others. That's what I try to do. Yes, it's a lot of work to do, but I try to come here often just so I can have a little time to do something for me, just for me, you know? Staying fit is good you know i like to foster or adopt 20 kids i don't know if i can do it if i can if i don't exercise or take care of myself so that's what i'm trying to do so i hope you get time to walk eat do something you like so i hope that's cool that's what i'm doing right now so yeah so uh even just doing 20 minutes 30 minutes i try to do at least 45 minutes every day you know when kids are at school so the kids have been home for the last I don't know, 10 days due to Christmas holidays. And I could not go because I couldn't leave them anywhere. So I got a chance today. I was like, I'm gonna run into and do something. So for you moms, dads out there, I hope you fill your cup today. Go do something for you, for yourself. Something I'm learning to, you know? Sometimes we care for our kids so much that we want to be there for them and do everything we can. But we forget to refill, you know? My car gets empty, I get to refill so I can go somewhere. So I think human is, our spirits and energy need that as well. So I'm learning to do that. It's not something that I used to do quite often, but I'm learning. You know, maybe I'm getting too old, you know? Maybe see if I can still do more. But again, every parent, everyone I would say, we need a cups filled, a glass filled. So we, we have a little bit more to give. So that's why part of my driving, but hey, I like to share. So I am in line waiting for my kids. As you can see, the lines go on and on and on on a school day. Sometimes it takes about 45 minutes. I mean, 45 minutes to get to the kids because there are so many lines back and front. But it gives me the opportunity to think, text, reply, 
but also the fun part is listening to audible books like i really love uh books and i love to be informed and we all know parents we don't have time to sit down and read a book or even when i get that time my kids want to cuddle and play games so there's never time so this is the time that i get to really enrich myself make phone calls you know reply to your texts uh, or your comments you send on you know on my page so this is how i keep informed but it's also fun that i never have to feel like man i gotta wait for hours here no i am being informed and learning so that's a cool thing so i hope you get to see really what my day-to-day -day life or how much i drive you know i'm not complaining i it's fun trust me you know but it's giving an opportunity to rather than be idle but be productive and learning to use this time to truly do all i need to do appointments Ooh, i forgot actually i need to make an appointment for grooming for my dog so yeah you know you see how much i can do just in my car you know you have no idea how many miles i get to put on this car in a year oh yeah you know but it's fun so for you parents who drive at what do you teach me like what do you do or while you're waiting you know in line or when you're picking up your kids like what things do you do i always feel like i have to do so many things pick up medication do what not you know i like to learn what do you do in your car while you're waiting or while you're driving or while you're being a bus driver to your kids for me yes this line hasn't moved this line has not moved it hasn't moved an inch and i've been here for 30 minutes you know so see the fun i love driving i love my kids so i'm just sharing with you how much i drive and how it's fun but also how i get to use it as a way to learn other things audible books are my favorite and here's the cool thing too my book is on audible yes my book now that i'm a you know author you know yes my book is audible oh we are moving two miles an hour you know so uh there you go so if you want to read my book too seriously if you want to read my book i would recommend i would encourage you to go on audible and buy my book and read it while you're picking up your kids or doing who knows what charles please go buy my book you mean the world to me. See, my kids are about to be here and jump in and we get to talk. So we are coming from daycare, right? Are you ready to go home? Are you ready to go home? You ready to go home? Yes, I'm ready to go home as well. So daycare is done for the day. Time to go home. You ready? You ready to go sisters and brothers at home? Yes, daycare right. Now, time to go do something else. It's an ongoing. So daycare closes a little bit later than my school time. So now it's time to go home. I just picked up my little one and we're gonna go home. What are we gonna do? Make dinner, right? Yes, we're gonna make dinner. And what else? Yeah, that's my world. Play music, but it's always good to see my little ones, especially at the end of the day. So we're going home and we're gonna play and do something, right? You ready? Yes. No, now I am no.